Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. So there was this big shedingi yesterday at the Lollapalooza, y'all. Okay, in Chicago. And Lil Dirt, allegedly, they're saying that he performed last night. And Lil Dirt got hit in the face. While he was on a stage by an explosion during his set. Okay, y'all, this is what they're saying. Now, some people are saying, oh, they did it on purpose, blah, 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 blah. But if you listen to the set, when the explosion came out, um, you know, it was supposed to be for entertainment. And when it came out, it came out right at the set when it should have came out as far as the, the timing of the song. So, did Lil Dirt just walk too close to it? I do, I do believe so, y'all. Okay, um, I got a couple pictures. This is him about to perform. Um, and you know, he's walking over there right by it. Okay, so they had to know the explosion was coming out the floor. Okay, because of you know, when you're preparing for stuff like that, they tell you everything that's going to be going on on the, the stage when it happens. So, was it kind of his fault a little bit that he just walked too close to the to the hole in the floor over there? The little, you know. The area in the floor where they had these pyrotechno stuff coming out at y'all. So it could just been, you know, him on the in the wrong place at the wrong time on that stage. They should not have been that close to the explosions. Okay, y'all. That's number one. They should not have been that close. Um, as you can see, he's walking right toward the spot where it's gonna come out at. And like I said, it seems as if he was too close to it. Okay, y'all? And if you look at this picture right here, this picture looks, it reminds you of that Michael Jackson Pepsi commercial. Remember when he was doing that Pepsi commercial, y'all? Y'all remember about that? And, you know, they had all of these little explosion stuff. It's, for, it's done for entertainment, y'all. And michael jackson had them curls at the time y'all remember them activators and um activator and what you call it moisturizer creams and stuff for them carefree curls y'all remember and they didn't mix with you know the explosions for that pepsi commercial and his hair got lit up it, it looks just like that y'all wow i'm glad he's okay y'all i am glad that he is okay um this is an update. He did go to the doctor. And he looked like he got on a Pepsi t-shirt, y'all, almost. With that blue, pe uh, not t-shirt, um, hoodie. It looks just almost like the Pepsi color. That's weird. But, yeah, he's okay. He did an update. Um, Lil Durk said he's going to take a break, y'all. He said he needs to take a break. To focus on his health after... And on stage mishap at Lollapalooza. I really do think he just walked a little too close to the spot. And he had to know the key points when it was going to come out. Because the thing came out, it didn't look like it came out at the wrong time. Because people, they love to jump on something and say, oh, it's did on purpose. Why would Chicago, you know, people in Chicago do something like that? As far as, you know, the people that's behind the Lollapalooza, they wouldn't do nothing like that. They get sued. You know, I don't think nobody did that on purpose, y'all. I just don't. Uh, so, the rapper, who was 29 years old, suffered drastic injuries on Saturday after he was hit in the face by a pyrotechnic at the Chicago Music Festival. Due to the incident that happened at Lollapalooza in Chicago on stage, he says, I'm going to take a break and focus on my health. Um, he captioned on his um, Instagram post. Which showed him sitting in, in the hospital on a hospital bed wearing a face mask and a patch over his right eye. Okay, y'all. So, he's doing better. Uh, he said he finished his performance yesterday for his fans. He ap appreciate them. So, after he was hit, he still finished the performance. So, that was, that was a good thing. That means, you know, 
he really cared about his fans for him to do that. He wanted to finish that set and sing that song that everybody wanted him to sing. Okay, y'all? Or rap, whatever. So, um, they said the footage went viral on social media, showing Lil Dirt walking across the stage before getting struck directly in the face by two pillars of smoke. So, wow, it was kind of bad, y'all. They said he cut, then covers his face with his T-shirt as the music, um, cuts off so he's doing good y'all he's doing better he, he did go to the doctor and everything but yeah you gotta be careful when you putting that type of stuff on the stage y'all i know they want to excite the crowd and all of that other stuff but you have to be careful when you want all of that flashy stuff on the scene you have to be careful where it's coming out at when it's going up and coming down, what kind of chemicals you got in your hair? Because he could have easily had some oily stuff in his hair, and it could have lit his hair. You know, you have to just be careful about stuff like this when you're performing. You know, the, the celebrities, they have to make sure when they having this type of explosions on the stage or some kind of, you know, sparkly stuff going in the air and this and that and that and this, that they're not that close to it when it's coming up or coming down. Okay, y'all? And they have to be careful what they putting in their hair because these chemicals don't mix with all of that boom, boom stuff. So you have to be careful. You got to be careful. You got to keep up. You know, I know that a lot of people have dancers and stuff, and he wasn't really dancing. He just pacing kind of crap back and forth across the stage. But with so much excitement going on, you rapping your songs and stuff like that, you know, people sometimes forget, you know, that you can't, you got to be so many steps away from where the boom is coming from. Even though you want the boom kind of around you so, it, you know, it get the effects from it for the song and everything. But you have to not be that close, y'all. You just have to not be. So people just got to be more careful. That's all that is. But I, I don't think it was no foul play in that, in anybody trying to hurt Lil Dirt, okay? Um, a lot of people from Chicago, they love them some Lil, some Lil Dirt. So I just don't see that, okay? And like I said, it wasn't like it came out at an odd moment. It came out right, the boom came out right when the song was, you know, about to be performed. And they was about to get go in on it, okay, y'all? So, it came out at the right time, okay? So, um, get well, Lil Dirt, and be careful next time when you got that kind of stuff out there on the stage, okay, y'all? But they say he did do his thing out there, so, um, you know, I'm happy everything worked out and it wasn't worse than it was. Because look at Michael Jackson, y'all. They had to cut all his hair off, all kind of stuff. He had so many burns on him. It was bad, y'all, Okay? So, uh, I don't know how his ad looking under there, but for him to still do the performance, it's, you know, it wasn't like worse as Michael Jackson was, y'all. But it's still bad, the point that, look at his face, okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.